Hi, today is Tuesday, May 23rd, and I don't know about you, but May has seemed ultra long, um, but I'm still pushing through. So what I'm doing this month for Mental Health Awareness Month is telling my story um, and the various, what it looks like to live with um, various diagnoses of mental illness and how I found myself in one of my darkest moments, um, but also found a need for um, clothing that made me feel safe, that made me feel comfortable, and I was having a hard time kind of reconciling um, those two needs. And as I went out and tried to find something, um, I realized that there was, it didn't exist. So um, their trauma tire was conceived and I am um, spending May talking about me to kind of wrap the story into the business and then June the real push to get these clothes made and sold and um, have other survivors of trauma out there wearing trauma tire um, today there is a lot to focus on and be sad about our world sucks people suck um, that has not changed but there's also a lot to be really happy about and feeling fortunate and I'm having a good positive day so I'm going to focus on that. Um, what I wanted to show you today was a jumpsuit that I came up with. Um, for me, sometimes showing up, like I said the other day, if it's not a mandated appointment, um, I have a really hard time getting there. So. I remember when I was younger, um, one of my professors at FNM told me, um, 80% is just showing up and you know, the rest is whether or not you want the other 20% <clears throat> is what you put forth to show the extra effort and to stand apart. He's like, just showing up, Nancy is going to make a big deal, make a big difference. Um, and I think about that now and sometimes I got to push and just show up on um, Mother's Day, for instance, I wanted to cancel so badly there was no train there was rain it was just all these things and um, I pushed through and I had a great time so this is an outfit that is an easy wear um, all of my clothing is form forgiving um, because if you know if you're either dealing with depression or dealing with any kind of healing process or transition or if you're on medication and it's changing your weight can fluctuate you can gain weight, lose weight, um, and the last thing you want to do is have to buy new clothes or be reminded that something doesn't fit because you've gained five pounds because you're feeling like crap already. So um, all of the outfits are um, forgiving um, and flattering at the same time. Um, Who to thunk it? So this is the I Came, I Conquered jumpsuit. Um, Oh no, part two, I got cut off or something. I don't even know what happened. Um, so as I was saying, this is the I came, I conquered um, outfit and um, sometimes showing up is enough. So one piece jumpsuit and there are going to be some kind of metal tag um, here at the collar. It's gonna be like a mock turtleneck as well as one at the waist. For me, my words is here because I'm present and sometimes even when I'm physically in a space, I'm not really present. Um, so in many ways, that's important here. And at my waist, it says enough. Um, so let's see if you can see this. There it is. And I was so fortunate to pick three swatches um, at Mood that I fell in love with for this outfit. So I would probably do it in different colors um, and I wish you could touch this. I wish the computer had um, texture so important and feel is so important. And these things are awesome to the touch. You want to be wrapped up in this. Um, so this is one of the outfits. And then there will also be like metal pieces com um, connecting the two words down the middle. Um, I love this one. I think I'd rock this one a lot. It's definitely something I'd throw on, go drop the kids off, um, and still feel cute but not doing too much um, and I liked 
the metal because for me it was kind of some kind of armor. Um, I like that. So that is I Came, I Conquered. Um, on another note, I made a Traumatire Facebook page and I am going to slowly be transitioning everything over there as of June 1. Um, it will just be over there. And for the few friends that I've made in the last couple of weeks um, who have become my friends on Facebook through my, um, my Facebook page, I am going to probably friend you on the Trauma Tire page and then I'm going to unfollow you on that one. Um, so I think that's it. Follow that. I have already about 60 people um, who have liked the page, so thank you guys. I encourage you and push you a little to get one person um, who I don't know to subscribe or follow the page as well. Or someone who you think may be interested or someone with um, maybe a similar story who could really use um, something that makes them feel good. So with that, I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm sorry we have two videos. Um, that's it. Bye.